Hi everyone, so today I want to talk about the timeline of the far future. So let's get started. So first of all, we start from small number to big numbers. So first is 2 minutes is the time required for a meter ball to grow bigger than the size of the observable universe, assuming it double in size every second, so double in diameter every second. So the second one is 15 years. This is the time required for the rat's population to be <laughs> bigger than the number of atoms in the observable universe. Uh, of course, with unlimited resources. So this is how fast a uh, rat's population can grow. The third one is 248 years. This is the time required for Pluto to complete an orbit around the Sun. And then 3183 AD, this is around like 1200 years from now. This is the time for the time pyramid in Germany uh, to be scheduled for completion. Uh, you can google it what that is. Uh, it has 120 blocks and people are putting one block per year. So that's why you know it would take around 1200 years to finish it. And the next one, 8,113 AD, so around uh, 6,000 years from now, is the Crypt of uh, Civilization is scheduled to be open after being sealed before World War II. Again, you can Google what that is. It's pretty interesting. Next one is 9,000 to around 10,000 years. This is the time required for the human population um, to use up all the atoms in the observable universe if we grow at the current rate. So the human population, if we keep growing at the current rate, then it will only take 9,000 to 10,000 years uh, for human to take up all, use up all the atoms in the observable universe. Next one, 15,000 years. This is the time required for the Sahara um, climate to turn back into a tropical climate. Next one, 17,000 years is the recurrence rate for a civilization threatening supervolcano eruption. And next one is 24,000 years is the Chernobyl will return to normal levels of radiation. Next one is 50,000 years. This is the time required for Earth to turn back to the Ice Age regardless the effects of global warming. Next one, again, 50,000 years, Niagara Falls will have eroded the remaining 32 kilometers to Lake Erie and will cease to exist. Next same 50,000 years is a day lengthened by 1 SI second due to the deceleration of Earth's rotation. Next is 10,000 years. This is the time required to terraform Mars with a breathable atmosphere using only plants. Next 50,000 years, Earth will likely have been hit by an asteroid of roughly 1 km in diameter. Next 1 million years, without maintenance, the Great Pyramid of Giza will erode completely. Next 1.3 million years, the star this thing will pass as close as 0 0.2 to 1 light years or around 14,000 AU to the Sun. Next is around 2 million years. This is a time for the recovery of the coral reef uh, ecosystem from human caused ocean acidification. Next is 3 million years, which is the time required for uh, a day on Earth, will be 1 minute longer than it is today. Next 50 million years is the estimated time for the moon Phobos collides with Mars. Next 50 million years, estimated time for Earth to naturally replenish its fossil fuel reserves. Next 100 million years, Earth will likely hit by an asteroid comparable in size to the one 66 million years ago that killed off the dinosaurs. Next 100 million years from now, uh, this is the estimate for the lifespan of the rings of Saturn in their current state. And then 110 million years, the Sun numerosity will um, has increased by 1%. And then 180 million years from now, a day on Earth will be one hour longer than it is today. And then 240 million years, the solar system completes one full orbit of the galactic center. 500 million years, carbon dioxide level fall, and then C3 uh, photosynthesis no longer possible, and 99% of plants will die. 
600 million years moon moves far away um, enough from earth that total solar eclipses are no longer possible in 800 million years C4 photosynthesis is no longer possible ozone layer disappear all multicellular life will die out and then in 1 billion years lifespan of the voyage uh, golden records before uh, info stored on them rendered unrecoverable and at 1.1 billion years from now, sun luminosity rising by 10%, Earth's surface temperature reaches 47 degrees Celsius or 116 degrees Fahrenheit. In 1.5 billion years, Mars' surface temperature rises to a level similar to Earth during the Ice Age. 2.8 billion years from now, Earth's surface temperature will reach around 147 degrees Fahrenheit or 296 degrees, I mean 147 degrees Celsius or 296 degrees Fahrenheit even at the poles. 3.3 billion years from now, Mercury may would collide with Venus or Earth being ejected from the solar system and colliding with Earth. 3.5 billion years from now, Earth's oceans evaporate, surface temperature rising to over a thousand degrees Celsius or two thousand degrees Fahrenheit. In five billion years, uh, Andromeda Galaxy will fully emerged with the Milky Way. In five point four billion years from now, Sun becomes a red giant. Seven point six billion years from now, Earth and Moon are likely to be destroyed by falling into the Sun. Four point seven point six billion years from now, Saturn's Moon Titan may reach surface temperatures necessary to support life. Eight billion years from now, Sun becomes a white dwarf. Twenty-two billion years from now is the end of the universe in the Big Rip scenario. 93 billion years is the time required for light to travel across the observable universe. 150 billion years is the um, uh, comet cost make microwave background cools to 0 0.3 degrees Kelvin, render it undetectable with current technology. 1 trillion years from now, stars formation ends in galaxies as galaxies are depleted of the gas clouds. 1 trillion years from now, evidence of the Big Bang is undetectable. 4 trillion years, Proxima Centauri, the closest star to the Sun, becomes a white dwarf. 110 trillion years from now, all stars in the universe will have exhausted their few. 1 quadrillion years or 10 to the 15 years, 10 will have cooled down to 5 degree Kelvin. In 10 to the 19th years, this is the time required to for a human to walk to the edge of the observable universe, uh, assuming around a walking speed of let's say two to three kilometers per hour, and of course assuming you can walk to the edge of the observable universe and the person don't die, and then ten to the twenty years is the time for the Voyager spacecraft to collide with a star. Ten to the thirty-six years, uh, all protons in the observable universe to decay. Uh, black hole era begins. 10 to the 65, uh, 65th year, uh, if protons do not decay, rigid objects rearrange atoms and molecules by uh, quantum tunneling. 10 to the 66th years, black hole of one solar masses decay into subatomic particles by Hawking radiation. 10 to the 87th year, supermassive black hole at the center of the Milky Way vanishes by Hawking radiation. 10 to the 100 a Google years from now, uh, TON 618, the biggest known black hole, dissipates by uh, of Hawking radiation. And then 10 to the power of 109 years, if protons decay, this is the heat death of the universe. And then 10 to the 1100 years, black dwarf with masses or at or about 1.2 times the mass of the sun to undergo supernova. 10 to the power of a thousand and five hundred years, iron stars will form from stellar mass objects. And then 10 to the 10 to the 7, this is around 10 to the power of 10 million. This is the time required for a monkey to type the complete work of Shakespeare, assuming the monkey types completely random. This is the time it takes for it to finally type out the complete work of Shakespeare. And then 10 to the 10 to the 26 years, all iron stars will collapse via uh, quantum tunneling into black holes. And then 10 to the 10 to the 50 years, boson brain will appear in a vacuum via spontaneous entropy decrease. 10 to the 10 to the 76 years, if protons do not decay, this is the heat death of the universe. 
and 10 to the 10 to the 120 years time it this is the time it takes for the universe to reach its final energy state even in the presence of a false vacuum and 10 to the 10 to the 10 to the 56 years is the time for quantum effects to generate a new big bang resulting in a new universe and this is around the time also around the time for uh, a new universe that is identical to ours to you know to appear by this quantum effects and then 10 to the 10 to the 10 to the 120 years this is the Poincaré recurrence time of the observable universe and if you don't know what is Poincaré recurrence you can look it up yourself um, another interesting theory and then uh, 10 double arrow 9 this means a power tower with 10 tens so 10 to the 10 to the 10 to the 10 there's 10 it is 9 tens this is a time required to complete 10 counters in the story of forever endeavor uh, which is related to Benny's number uh, interesting story one of the <laughs> craziest way to I mean to create one of the biggest number related to real world application and then the last one is kind of trivial this is just two double arrow a thousand this is around the time required to prove three three is finite using just finite arithmetic so anyway this is the timeline of the far future related to big numbers and Googleology. so thanks for watching and have a nice day